Kia ora tato. welcome to this video where we will look at the atomic radius and the trends in the atomic radius as we look at the periodic table. Um, in this video we'll be specifically looking at how the atomic radius um, changes as we go across a period. So what is the atomic radius? Um, well it is measured as the, if we've got the nucleus of an atom, um, and we've got some shells, if we just draw them the same way we used to, some shells around the nucleus of the atom, then the uh, atomic radius is the radius between the nucleus and the um, most distant electrons. Um, so what is the trend across a period um, if we're looking at the atomic radii? So for if we look at the, the second period here, so starting off with lithium, lithium has got three protons in its nucleus. Uh, and then we go, if we go across this period and end up at neon, neon has got the atomic number is 10, so that has got 10 protons in its nucleus. So lithium, both of them will have two electrons uh, in the first shell, that 1s um, shell. And then we're talking about the, the second energy level, so either the 2s or the 2 p energy level. The key um, term here is the, the 2 tells us which energy level that we're talking about. So lithium will have one more electron in that um, that next energy level, whereas uh, neon will have um, eight more electrons in that next energy level. So one, yeah, all the way around to eight. Um, so what actually happens with the atomic radius, though? I've drawn this um, just because I need to fit more things in. It makes it look as though it's bigger on the neon side, uh, which might be um, an intuitive way of thinking it is thinking about it is that as the protons and electrons increase the atomic radius must increase as well but what actually happens is that this would have an atomic radius say that large and this would have an atomic radius um, let's say that large so why is it that um, across as we go across a period of the periodic table the atomic radius decreases well the key things are that we've increased the number of protons as we've gone across the period. So we've gone from three protons in the nucleus to 10 protons in the, in the nucleus. So this increases the nuclear charge. And as we're going across the, the period as well, we're adding in electrons, but we're adding in electrons to the same energy level. And what that means is that there's a, a key concept called shielding, and that is that the these negative charges are going to be attracted to the positive charge of the nucleus. Um, but that is going to be reduced by the number of electrons, the number of electron shells in between the outer shells and the inner and, and the nucleus. So here we've just got the two electrons in between the outer electrons and the the nucleus. And it's the same for lithium. So there's the same shielding effect for lithium and for neon. So actually as we're adding in electrons to the outer shell, we're actually increasing the attraction between the outer electrons and the nucleus because this electron is now feeling the pull of 10 protons but it's in the same energy level whereas and this electron is feeling the pull of three protons and it's in the same energy level so this this feels um, less of a of an attraction to the nucleus and therefore for neon because these electrons are feeling a greater pull to the nucleus they're going to be held closer to the nucleus and so the atomic radius is going to decrease. So how would we answer a question um, if we, oh I'm moving into my old stuff, uh, how would we answer a question if we um, came across this in an exam, which we often will. Uh, so there's five, I've kind of narrowed it down to five things that you need to include. So the first thing is that you need to say, um, well first you need to say is that across the period the uh, atomic radius radius decreases. So just by stating that, I think you can often get a mark. Um, then we need to start explaining why. So we'll say that across, as we go across the period, there is an increase in the number of, of protons. Then we would say that um, what effect this increase in the number of protons has. So we'd say, therefore, there is an increase in the nuclear charge, uh, or we could say the attractive force force of the nucleus. 
Okay, and then the next thing we need to say is that um, as we go across the period, electrons are being added to the first, to the same, um, added to the same energy level. Uh, and then we would say that the electrostatic attraction for the valence electrons electrons increases. So we're going just going through the whole you know process. So start, starting with what like the, the broader effect as we go across the period, the atomic radius decreases, increase in protons, um, increase that increases the nuclear charge. Uh, as we go across as well, we're getting more electrons, but they're added to the same energy level. So this means that we're getting an increase in electrostatic attraction for the valence electrons. Um, that's because that electro that um, nuclear charge is greater. And then we tie it off with a nice summary saying that this because that electrostatic attraction is greater, this is pulls the electrons closer to the nucleus to the nucleus um, which decreases the atomic radius so yeah we'll definitely take some practice to be able to get a good answer um, written down for this so find some past exam questions or questions in the book give this a go um, in the next video we'll look at what happens going down a group for atomic radius thanks for watching see you next time